morning. I've just woken up. Let's start the day. I am ready now. Just letting my curls sit before I brush them out. Um, I needed to do a Dyson top up because I got rained on yesterday and all my hair fell out. I am just trying to figure out what to wear. The lights in this wardrobe are so temperamental. They're on, thank God. They're honestly a lifesaver. I'm just trying to figure out what to wear. Um, because I'm going to be filming a Zara haul in a second. I wanted to film a Zara haul before I go to Pilates. I've got my Pilates class at 11, I think. Um, and it's like 8 o'clock now. So I've got myself all ready so I can film before I leave. Hopefully I can film the talking part and the try on clips before I go. That would be great. Um, but I honestly don't know what to put on. Oh, I could do this linen shirt maybe. Or I could wear this polka dot dress because that is also very nice. But I kind of want to show that in a haul because I haven't shown it yet. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to pop this on. I think that will. Okay. Oh my god, I managed to film all of that. I think I'm going to have time to run into town and do some returns, hopefully. Hi. Oh my god, I feel like I have made the most stupid decision ever coming to town when I've got to be at Pilates in bang on an hour. If I miss my Pilates class, the gym like penalises you um, and you basically get in trouble if you miss a class that you book. That was like an in-demand class and the 11am Pilates class is very in-demand by yummy mummies. So, you got to get there. But I've been seeing some really good results from Pilates, like, like the best results I've ever seen at the gym from going to Pilates. It really works for my body. Um, I'll show you. Um, I'm really blown today, so I won't show you today because you can't see anything. Um, but I've got like this really nice definition on my stomach. I'm like, hello, abs. Um, I'm really impressed, but cross your fingers for me that I managed to do all of this in time. so hot in that room it's not a hot pilates but the aircon wasn't turned on is my hair still all right filming oh i've literally got protein shake all down my face hello hi babe hi babe hello oh no i know oh you're crazy come in oh loud and long and clear she loves to bark do, 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 every day of the year. Hello, um, I'm currently on the way to Sainsbury. So you're in a very odd position right now. Sorry about that one. cooking dinner it's just in the oven i'm just waiting for that to do its thing while i get some stuff sorted for tomorrow i've got quite a bit more work to do just like admin -y, like pr getting back to people about gifting and stuff like that i've got quite a lot of that stuff to get sorted and a lot of like of my marketing stuff to get sorted as well with my other business just like getting back to emails and sorting out influence campaigns and just the marketing work i'm gonna carry on sorting my stuff out so that tomorrow is easier for me um and then going to eat my dinner i might do a live stream on tiktok because i've been really enjoying that lately I'm just sat on the sofa. I changed into pajamas because, like, why not? If you work from home, you'll know. Um, I'm just sat with Bentley and Rosie. Rosie is our eldest, um, and we're pretty sure she's getting dementia. So right now, she likes to be carried around a lot and sit right next to you and follow you around. And you know, she likes to be right next to you. She doesn't like to be left on her own. Um, but Bentley's like her little best friend, and they like do everything together. But Bentley is also an attention whore who does this when Rosie's getting any type of fuss. No, no leaning. No leaning on Rosie, Bentley. That's so naughty. 
This actually looks good considering I've made it. Doesn't it? Yeah. Morning. It is so rainy and cold this morning. It's not very nice at all. It's 6.51 and I'm just starting my journey to Wolverhampton. So let's go because I don't want to be late. Hey, long time no talk. I've been to get my eyelashes done. I also went to go and see my nan. I didn't vlog while I was there just because... Um, not that there would be anything interesting to vlog with my nan. It's just my nan showing me like her like fairy garden that she's made um, and the garden and stuff like around the house. Um, I don't think it'd be very entertaining for you, but my eyelashes are all fresh, which is nice. I managed to pop a little bit of makeup on when I got to my nan's house. Um, I wanted to do my hair because my dentist always wants to take pictures of me. I think I said this, uh, like we work together, so they always wanna take photos of me, which I obviously get that. Um, but I always look a state when I go for some reason they always catch me on like really bad days um, But yeah, I was about to go and get my nails done. This is the before. I'm not sure What I'm gonna do I might do colorful tips. Oh my god ignore the tape around my keys I dropped my keys and broke them, but yeah, I dropped my keys on the floor and this little bit like Bounced off um, and if you lose the bit inside of here your car won't start because it's like a, you press the button It's like a stop start car and if you lose the little thing connected to your car You'll never turn your car back on again so i'm really paranoid about it so i quit tape around it um until i get my new key off the rac but let's go and get my nails done in danny's new salon rainbow nails that aren't really rainbow they're just all perfect all done i went with some rainbow pastel -y, pinky bluey purpley nails they look really cute i'm just on the way to the dentist now she's put their new address in the sat nav all done i got my new invisalign so this is like the rest of my sets until i'm pretty much done i think once i'm done with these sets i i'm pretty much finished with Invisalign which is going to be awesome and yeah it's all going really well I'm really excited to finish and like see my teeth when they're actually done my car is such a mess right now oops but I'm just heading home now I'm super tired I've been awake since like six o'clock pretty much um so yeah I can't wait to get home put my feet up watch a film it's gonna be so nice I am stuck in gridlock traffic right now on the M40. I might know I'm on the M42. Heading back up. I've still got like an hour and 12 to go. So it is like half past two now. Um, today has been such a weird day. I've had loads of stuff that needed to get done and I had like really strict deadlines for it to get done. So I've literally been doing admin stuff all day, replying to emails, finishing up content, editing, sending stuff over to be approved. Um, I wanted to go and take pictures today, but because of how busy it's been, um, it's been really full on. So I just haven't had five minutes to even get ready right now. I've literally like had a shower, haven't washed my hair, haven't put makeup on right now. Um, completely barefaced <laughs> um, because I've just been too busy because I've had so many things I needed to just get done. So I haven't really vlogged either. I pretty much just woke up, went to the gym and I've been just doing laptop work all day, which isn't really interesting. I do usually go and shoot on Fridays. Fridays are like shoot days. Um, and that's why Lou works for me on a Friday to help me with like content shooting on a Friday. But it's just been too busy to do it and the weather has been really like sunny cloudy sunny cloudy, rainy like all day it's been hard to figure out what's going on typical uk i'm actually going to go and wash my hair now because that takes me a while to do and then i can do a few more admin -y, email -y editing bits this evening before i go out because i've been working since like eight o'clock <laughs> i just need a break apart from going to the gym i've not had five minutes to breathe um so yeah i'm gonna go have some relaxing time wash my hair pamper myself a little bit Come on, go, go! <laughs> 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 
get off. <laughs> looks like this i can't believe i'm actually putting myself on the internet looking like this i'm not gonna look like this when it's washed off but for right now i look like i've been absolutely tangoed it's coming off worse on camera than it actually is in real life as well like i'm looking in the mirror right now and it definitely looks worse on camera it looks better in real life um but i'm fake tanning obviously and i've got a new fake tan favorite which is this one and i thought i would show you the before and afters because oh my god i'm so impressed i know this looks horrendous on my face right now but when you wash it off it leaves like the most perfect even tan on your skin it's the best thing i've used on my face i know it's more of a body tan but it's really worked for my face um and it leaves like a really nice natural glow this isn't sponsored it was sent to me it was gifted but they don't know i'm making this i'm massively impressed so i thought i would show you how it looks it's incredible i use a brush for my face so i just use a big fluffy brush like this i put it directly onto the brush and literally do this all around my face and really blend it in and i like blend and blend and blend and blend and blend until it looks right because it does really blend in and look you know nice and flawless it's like a whipped mousse thing so i just pop a little bit on it looks kind of orange when you like first apply it has like a really orange tint to it but i swear it looks so natural this is like the most compliments i think i've ever had about a fake tan i'm just trying to get a little bit of work done before we leave because i've got deadlines to meet so i'm just trying to get that all done and then i'm gonna go wash my tan off and we'll get ready and go we are in cardiff right now i think i said that we're coming here for the weekend my eyes look so blue sometimes they look so so blue um so we drove down this morning it's been a little bit of a rush i've been like panicking trying to get ready the hotel room is a complete mess we're running super late the thing started at two and it's like half past five now so we've missed those bits so we literally like got ready as quick as we could we're running out the door i forgot my sd card for my camera so i'm phone vlogging but let's head out super quickly i'm just wearing a teeny tiny camisole i'm wearing these necklaces these surprised me with these this morning and then a little l a uh, little cami leather jacket ysl bag levi jeans and fade trainers lots of blingy jewelry as always and let's go Oh, it's still morning. This morning has been so long, I thought it was the afternoon. I am currently in so much pain. It is actually unbelievable. I just ate some breakfast. It's like 11 o'clock, so technically still breakfast. Because I, I just felt so ill this morning. I'm on my period. I got my period yesterday. And I won't bore you with it, because I've mentioned before that I suffer with PMDD and other womanly issues that make my periods just really, really bad fainting upset stomach being sick not being able to eat like extreme pain i've currently got this thing strapped onto me which you can see um and because my period pains are so bad painkillers don't cut it um i have even taken naproxen tablets which are really really strong painkillers and it i can still feel the pain through it they're really bad i don't think people actually understand when i say how bad my periods are i think they think i'm making it up or something it's honestly horrendous i think the dog's barking is actually going to give me a mental breakdown today's been really difficult yesterday i got my period so i didn't manage to get a lot of work done that was really rough and then my friend was going through something so she actually came round for dinner last night um which was really nice to see her because she's like literally one of my best friends she's so lovely um so yeah that was the evening but today i've been really struggling to get anything done like even writing an email has been taking me like 20 minutes where it should be taking me two you know those days where you just struggle to get anything done and your head just isn't in the right place that is me today as i said i did have some really lovely pr packages sent to me um and of course some brands are lovely enough to send these things to me and when you're gifted something there's no like obligation to show it but if I like it, then I always do show it. Or if I think you guys might like it, I do always show it. Because I think it's always nice to try out new products. 
So first off, Vici sent me some stuff and I absolutely love their brand. I've used loads of their products. I even use like some of their shampoo and conditioner for hair loss. So they sent me the Mineral 89 Toned and Hydrated Skin Healthy Glow. This is really nice. I've already got a full bottle of this, so this is going to go to my mom or nan. And this is the one for the eyes, and this hydrates, smooths, and reduces dark circles. I don't suffer with dark circles, but Lou does, so she can try that one out. And then they also sent me these, which I've not seen before. Elemis have also sent me over some amazing products. Elemis is that brand that I'm always happy to splurge on because their products really do work. They're so lovely. So they first sent over dynamic resurfacing facial pads. These are really, really nice. They're just kind of like exfoliating kind of little pads. You just pop them on. They're really easy because they're pads. So you just sweep them over the skin. You don't need to rinse it off or anything like that. Just nice, quick, convenient. They also sent this, which I used um, this morning. And this is the Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. Um, um, it brightens, nourishes, and hydrates. I popped this on this morning, and my god, my skin looked so beautiful. This is the type of thing that you could put on on holiday, and it just makes your skin look really flawless and glowy. They sent over the Superfood Facial Oil. I have gone through so many bottles of this. This is one of my favourite products from them. And then lastly, they sent over the Marine Cream, which is another product that I have repurchased and repurchased and repurchased. It is a skincare favourite of mine. I absolutely love it. I'm actually going to get on with some work now, just some email stuff, editing, making thumbnails. And then I've got an appointment to have my lips dissolved at 2 o'clock today, which is in about two and a half hours. I'm really, really nervous about it. I think it's gonna be really painful. So I'm literally like petrified about getting it done, but I will be taking you with me so you can see the whole thing. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I am on my way to go get my lips dissolved. I'm so nervous. I've seen so many people say that this is like horrendously painful. So I am honestly petrified about this. I am here now. I'm just waiting in the car because I'm a little bit early. I thought I was going to be late because Oxford have introduced these things called LTNs and they're causing like riots. Literally people are like knocking them down because they're causing so many problems. They're like counterproductive. Um, so I thought, oh my God, I'm going to be late with all this stuff going on. But I'm actually early. So I'm just sat in the car waiting to go to my appointment, building up the nerves. But I'm going to show you my lips now. That's what they look like. So I've been getting lip filler for about seven years, which is quite a long time. And I've never had it dissolved and I've had it done by multiple different people. Um, and the first person I went to was a little bit. So yeah, and it's never been dissolved. I've never started to fresh. So it's my lips now. They definitely do stick out, but you've also got to remember that I have an overbite. So that can also be due to that. Um, I think my lips naturally stick out without any filler anyway, which I guess we'll see after they get dissolved. Smiling front on this here dips a little bit and I don't know if that's down to filler or when um, I really injured my mouth when I was a really young kid So I don't know if that's down to that or the fact that I've got filler in there So where that hangs down I'd like it to tuck up a little like that kind of and then Yeah, that's what they look like Here is my before I'm about to go in I'm not gonna vlog it being done because I know that people have issues with needles and stuff like that So I don't want to like scare anyone or trigger anyone or anything like that. So I'm not gonna actually vlog having it done look at my lips can you see that they were way more swollen i could feel that it was so swollen i think i'm definitely gonna get some bruising there that's already going like purple not touching no fingers on the face but yeah they are like massive oh my god they're huge they were bigger than this but she's like massaged my lips to like you know break the filler down a little bit um they were bigger than this i could feel my lips felt really tight like i think they were probably like this because my lips felt super super tight um i think they're swelling back up now that they're not being touched but oh my god it felt kind of nice it's like letting go of all of that old nasty filler that's been in there for like literally years and years and years um it felt good to have that taken out it wasn't as painful as i thought it was going to be everyone i've spoken to is like oh getting your lips dissolved is the worst pain ever but honestly that was like fine like that isn't even as painful as getting lip filler so make sure they put your numbing cream on because i just had numbing cream on for about 30 minutes um and like she left it on for 30 minutes while my allergy test on my arm because you have to have an allergy test to the dissolving liquid um that they use so she popped a little thing on my on my upper arm so yeah i had numbing cream on for literally um 30 minutes so it was really painless it was really it was fine actually i'm like so pleasantly surprised by the fact that it didn't hurt 
but I'm heading back home now. I can't wait to see what they look like tomorrow. She said within 24 to 48 hours, you should kind of see the effects. Can you hear the rain? It's so rainy, but yeah. Oh, it's hailing. Ooh. Hello, I don't want to leave you hanging after getting my lips dissolved. So it's been a couple of days since getting them done and this is what they're looking like. Obviously I've got lip liner and lipstick on right now. Um, I cannot wait to get them refilled. I am so glad, don't get me wrong, if you've been thinking about getting your lips dissolved, do it, 100% do it, because I am so glad that I've done it. It feels so nice to know that any migration is gone, any built up filler has gone. It feels really nice to know that like seven years of filler has gone out of my body. I think it's been seven years. It's been like five, six, seven years around that mark. It's been a really, really long time since I've been getting filler. Um, and it's just nice to know that all that build up has gone. Um, so yeah, see, I am really glad that I've had it done, but I forgot how insecure I was about my small lips. I do wanna say thank you so much to everyone that has sent me a message to say, oh, you look really nice. Don't worry about it, you still look lovely. I can't tell you how much that has meant to me because I have felt Honestly, honestly, I felt so insecure that I literally had a cry about it because I just felt so down about the way I looked and I'd forgotten how much of an insecurity it was for me because it had been such a long time having lip filler. You know, it's been such a long time since I saw myself without it and I'd forgotten how insecure I really was. Um, so to everyone that sent me a message to say, like, you still look nice, you look lovely, I, I like you like this, I think you look really nice and pretty and blah, blah, blah. It means so much to me, I don't think you honestly understand how much it does mean to me so thank you to everyone that's messaged me um i thought i would kind of wrap up the video here i've had some beautiful pr packages sent over to me um and like i said earlier i love showing you guys things that you might like or might want to buy yourself and also these brands go out of their way to send me these incredible products so i do really want to show them to you guys and let you know what is new in new launches things that you might like so I thought I'd do a little PR haul to end the video off. Before I do that I should tell you a little random story. Um, I love animals. I don't know if you guys know that. I don't know if I've ever actually spoken about it on my channel but I love animals. Any animal um, like literally from this big I won't kill a spider. I won't hurt any animals. I love all animals and I bought a bird seed feeder thing and I've hung it from the tree and Lou kept saying, put it higher up in the tree because they're not going to come down. But I thought, I'm not about to see them if they're all the way in the branches. So I kind of hung it down a little bit lower. And from yesterday, they've all kind of realised it's there because where we live, it's really weird because there's such a big city and then all the outskirts are very like fieldy and cows and sheep's like con very countryside-y. And where we live, there's a lot of like trees around. There's lots of birds around. The front of our house is a big like green area and loads of little birds live in there. They're always in the garden so I thought I'm gonna get like a little bird seed thing and they have all been coming to it now because I've realised that it's there and they're so cute. There were like six little um like blue and yellow birds in the tree and I was just like oh my god I was actually crying about it because they're so cute eating all the little bits of food that I've put in but oh my god it is so freaking cute. But let me show you this PR because I'm sure not many of you care about birds. <laughs> so firstly, I got some lovely stuff sent over from Typology. I love Typology products. I love their makeup. I love their skincare. Everything that I've used from Typology, I really like. Hair care, the lot. And the packaging is so beautiful as well. Like, look at that. Absolutely stunning. This is a little lip oil in the shade Powder Pink. It's beautiful. I'll just show you. Oh, look at that so gorgeous um i haven't tried this yet i should have tried that this morning actually i'm really excited to try that and also a vitamin c serum i love their skincare products i'm really excited about all of that and then a beautiful little typology canvas bag elemental herbology so this is their calm and soothe facial oil with chamomile rose damask and rose hip oil that sounds really nice this is their long lash mascara in brown which is lovely because i think uh brown on lower lashes will be a lot more subtle. I think black can be a little bit overpowering sometimes, obviously with me having big lash extensions. And then also this Zest Sugar Body Scrub with hemp seed oil, chia seed oil, and sweet orange. Oh, that's nice. This smells like a spa. Can't wait to try all of that out. And then I also had some stuff sent over from Joe Loves. Oh, I love Joe Loves so much. I can't even 
explain to you how much I love the brand. I think I said in another video that I just absolutely love Jo Malone and her whole story. I read her book, it's an incredible book. I recommend to read it if you haven't. Um, this is the Fig Body Mist and they also sent over a hair mist as well, but that I actually left it in my car because I used it yesterday when it came. Um, really like it, love Jo Loves. Her products are just incredible. If you didn't know, Jo Malone herself sold the company Jo Malone and her own brand is now Jo Loves. Um, and you can find their you can find their store in Belgravia. The birds are back. Oh, they're so cute. The way they like look, flap their little wings. Oh, they're so fucking cute. Oh, I really want to get a video where they're gonna fly off. Hold on, let me see if I can get this. Right, they're all in the tree. Can you see your look? I just can't get them on camera they keep flying off i think i'm gonna get one of those little uh bird cameras that you can get because i just think it's so cute and then lastly i've had some gorgeous bits sent over from river island who send me clothes all the time and i really appreciate it because it's a brand that i really like the dress that i'm wearing right now is from them it's a little bit loose um so i think i'm gonna have that taken in or i'm gonna do that hack where you like pin it in because it's a bit uh baggy but this is so beautiful if you've got a wedding coming up or a summer holiday i think this is really stunning a really really gorgeous dress i really like it i love butterflies and i love pink so <laughs> right up my alley i've also had two pairs of shoes sent over so first these gorgeous little white stilettos it's a very short heel so they are comfortable i had a little trot around in them this morning i really like them they're so pretty i love this thick band these shoes however are definitely more of a trend piece and because they're just a plain white i think they still look quite classic obviously it's got a very 90s style to it my mom had lots of shoes like this when i was young and again, it's got a little heel, which is very comfortable. Also got this dress, which I think is gonna look so lovely with some black sandals. It's just a lovely little summer dress. It's stretchy at the top, so super comfortable. This dress I really like. I'm gonna need to grab a slip to pop underneath it, but isn't that just stunning? It's like this little crochet knit with um, like trumpet sleeves. It's very like Grease vibes, Mamma Mia vibes, gorgeous holiday dress. I also got this lovely little dress, which is just like a blue classic kind of shift dress. So gorgeous. I love the little cap sleeves. I love the neckline. This little set I saw all over Instagram and couldn't wait to get my hands on. So it's this gorgeous little like beigey linen short and blazer set. These shorts are so cute. I got a size six, very true to size. A little bit tight on my bum, I would say but I always have that problem with um, skirts. If I get a skirt, it's usually, it fits on my waist and then it's too tight on my bum. So that's just a me problem, I think. And then this lovely blazer, which I'm so excited about because obviously you can wear it as a matching set, but of course you can wear them separate as well. I love the colors running through this blazer. I'm gonna get so much wear out of this blazer alone. And then lastly, <laughs> I'm going to be filming this TikTok video. It could potentially even be live by now, but there is this um, trend where it's like SpongeBob audio. If you don't watch TikTok, you're gonna be thinking, what is she on about? But it's basically audio from SpongeBob SquarePants and he like squeaks in and the guy's like, why aren't you in uniform? And then you like slide back off the screen and you come back in. Um, and I'm gonna do it like as if, you work like for the Oppenheim group, the Selling Sunset thing. And I'm gonna come in like with casual clothes on and then I'm gonna pop this on. So this is a little two piece skirt and blazer set, which I just think is cool. I just love this blazer and skirt set. That is gonna look so good if you've got a birthday or something coming up. You're gonna look incredible, I love it. And this shade of pink looks good on literally every single skin tone it's just the perfect shade of pink it's so flattering on everyone thank you everybody for sending me stuff i really appreciate it i love everything i get nothing goes unappreciated by me i just want to make that very clear and every single thing that i get sent gets used as well thank you so much for watching this vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did enjoy and i will see you next sunday take care guys i love you so much bye